Hi everyone, naimbag nga al daw yung aming kakailian. Again, this is Sheila Dr. Hernandez, your licensed immigration advisor based in Timor, New Zealand. So for today, uh, 2nd of July 2021, I will be discussing the upcoming changes which include the uh, increase of salary threshold that will start on the 19th of July 2021 and the uh, a uh, new uh, accredited employer work visa that will be that will start on the 1st of November 2021 the impact of the changes and what you should be doing um at this time before the changes will be implemented okay let's start okay before we go to the increase of salary threshold uh, let's start with the recent changes announce regarding essential skills work visa so uh, first is the work visa extensions no further extension uh, i think the last the last extension announced for work visas was on the um was in december 2020 so those uh whose visa was extended you will need to apply for a new visa Okay, next is the visa duration for low paid, low paid work visa holders. So low paid meaning um, your hourly rate is below 25.5. So during the COVID-19, it was reduced to six months work visa. But in, on the 10th of June, 2021, uh, it was returned to 12 months. So if you apply today for a work visa and your um, hourly rate is below 25.5 then and you meet uh, the other requirements, then you will be granted for a 12, a 12 months uh, work visa. Okay? So hindi na siya 6 months, 12 months na ang in nila. Kung ang sahod ay below 25.5. Okay. Next is the stand down period deferred until 30th of June 2022. So the stand down was implemented in 2017. So some of you may be uh, may have held a work visa, a low paid or or um low low skilled. Okay. If you have been working for 3 years on those visas, low paid, low skilled, then you are supposed to be subject to the stand down period, but then uh, they are deferring, okay, delaying the implementation of the stand down until 30th of June 2022. So you can still reapply for a new low paid visa, okay. So yung mga affected, okay, na low paid uh, work visa holders, uh, pwede pa rin kayong mag apply, okay. Hindi nyo kailangan umuwi. Kasi extended ang implementation, extended or delayed ang implementation ng standard. May mga affected na natao since 2017 nag-start to, 2020, 18, 19, 20, okay, 2021. Okay, next, a median wage will increase from 19th of July. It has been confirmed by immigration, okay. Confirmed na to, so from 25 Point five, it will increase to 27 okay so for essential skills work visa from 19th of july 2021 if your hourly rate is 27 or higher then the visa duration will be three years all applications below 27 will only have a visa duration of 12 months okay and then for essential, uh, sorry, for skilled migrant category, okay, from 19th of July 2021, for skill level 1 to 3 and those under the exceptions um, listed in Appendix 7, will need to have a 27 uh, or higher hourly rate, okay, to be eligible for, to apply for residence, okay. And then for skill level four and five, you can you, are, you can also apply for SMC if your hourly rate is 150% of the median. So that will give you 40.5, okay? And then in claiming points uh, for higher remuneration, 
you will need to have a twice of the salary threshold. So that's 54 and higher. You can claim four additional points. Okay. So what should you be doing now? Okay. So if you are a worker on a 25.5 per hour and you think it is unlikely that uh, your employer will give you a pay rise of at least 27 per hour after the 19th of July, then it is about time to secure or apply for a three years work visa. Because after the 19th, okay, you will only be able to apply for a one year visa. So apply for a new visa before 19th of July. So if your visa is expiring in so if your visa is expiring this year or next year, then I would suggest that you apply now for a three years work visa. So at least you will have the security uh, of having a three years work visa. Okay. And if you hold a three year essential skills work visa and you intend to, you know, move to a different employer, then you might want to do that before the 19th of July. Okay. So for VOC, uh, you will need a uh, $27 per hour to maintain the your three years work visa. Yung mga holders dyan ng work visa, essential skills work visa, if you are now, okay, kung ang sahod nyo ay 25.5 and sa tingin nyo hindi naman mag increase ang sahod nyo to 27, then mag-apply na po ng three years work visa before 19th of July 2021. Okay, so kahit mag-expire man yung visa mo this year or next year, then I would recommend na mag-apply na kayo ngayon. So, ganun din sa mga work visa holders, okay, 3 years work visa holders na nagpa-plan to move to another employer. Okay, you need $27 per hour after the 19th. Okay, so before mag-19th of July, mag-apply na kayo for VOC. Okay, if you want to maintain yung 3 years work visa ninyo. Kaya dahil after 19, kailangan nyo na ng $27 per hour to maintain yung 3 years work visa. Okay? Malinaw ba yun? So, pag mag-variate kayo today, before the 19, kailangan nyo pa rin ng 25.5. Okay, now, changes the employer work visa. Ito na yung bagong uh, work visa that will start on the 1st of 2021. The accredited employer work visa. Okay, so from the six temporary work visas, it will be merged into one visa, the accredited employer work visa. Currently, it is migrant-led, meaning all documents are submitted by the migrant. Uh, the employer provide all the documentation to the work visa holder, and they will be the one who applies for their visa. On the 1st of November 2021, it will be employer-led. The application will be led by the employer meaning they have to apply for the accreditation first. okay first these are the uh, work visas that are affected okay so the last applications for the for this uh, six visas actually except for the silver foreign job search visa last application will be on the 31st of 2021 wala na pong application after nito uh, ng essential skills uh, wtr wala na okay by 31st okay by 1st of november Wala na ito. Okay. Uh, Mag-start na yung accredited employer work visa. And then, yung entry check system ng new accredited employer. Employer check meaning the employer needs to apply first for accreditation. Okay. And immigration will be using a new system to implement the new visa. So, the first step if is for the employer to apply for accreditation. Once they are accredited, they will need to apply for a job check. Okay, so this includes the advertisement. They need to um, provide evidence that there are no locals to do the job. Okay, once immigration approve, okay, the employer then can um, invite the uh, the applicant, the, the migrant. Okay, so that's the migrant check. Without invitation, the migrant cannot uh, apply. Okay, so that's the three check system. So, yung employer mo nang mag-apply. Okay, 
And then, yung employer pa rin ang mag-provide ng documents dito sa job check. The only time na mag-apply mag na yung uh, work visa holder, sorry, will be pag natapos na yung first two steps. Okay? The third step, yan yung for the work visa applicants. So, that's the employer-led uh, two-check system. Okay. okay, at the moment, accreditation, accreditation, employer accreditation is optional. Uh, by 1st of November, it will be mandatory. Employers who are not accredited will not be able to support a work visa application. And the migrant also will not be able to apply. Okay. Right. So the, um, the employer mandatory accreditation. Okay. Yung, the application will start on the end of September 2021. Okay, there will be two types of accreditation. We have the standard and the high volume accreditation. Standard accreditation for employers who have um, up to five migrant workers. And then the high volume um, employers with six or more migrant workers. Okay. And for those who are currently accredited, under the current uh, policy still needs to apply for uh, the uh, accreditation okay another for the new accreditation okay so they are either they either apply for standard or high volume so they're not exempted okay so ang, kung ang employer ninyo i currently accredited they still need to apply for accreditation um starting end of september 2021 if they will be supporting a work visa okay so there's no need for all employers to apply by end of september 2021 only those who will be uh, supporting a work visa holders okay if your employer no workers who need to obtain a new visa then there's no need to apply right away by end of september 2021 so kailangan lang nila mag apply ng accreditation pag meron silang susuportahan na work visa Okay, so these are the requirements of the standard accreditation. I will not be discussing the details. And then for high volume. So there will be more requirements for high volume accreditation. Okay, so this is the uh, timeline transition approach for the uh, uh, new work visa employer, uh, accredited employer. So first was in 2019 when they announced the changes to temporary work visa and then in may they have confirmed okay that the uh, they will push through with the changes and then on the 30th of june applications for the existing employer accreditation has uh closed so wala na okay wala na pong pag apply we are now in uh we are already on the 2nd of July, so it's closed. Uh, no one can apply for the existing employer accredited, okay? And then for the new accreditation, it will start on the late of September, okay? Start, so they can start applying. And then the application closed, the application is closed for the existing tempor temporary visa on the 31st of October. Okay, so if you want to apply for um, talent accredited work visa, uh, your last, the last application will be on the 31st of October. And then by the 1st of November, the, the new accredited employer work visa and three check application system will be introduced. Okay, so what should you be doing now? So those workers whose visa are expiring this year until 2022, uh, it would be best if you will apply for a new visa before the 1st of 2021 to avoid the, to avoid the mandatory employer accreditation requirement. Okay. So kung ang visa ninyo ay mag expire this year or next year, then I would recommend na mag-apply na ng bagong visa bago pa mag-start ang mandatory accreditation. So para wala nang worries, okay? You are at least secure ka for the um, susunod na taon, lalo na yung mag-a-apply ng uh, three years work visa, okay? 
and then pag nag-a-apply when, when applying for a new job, then I would recommend that you also consider if the employer I is prepared for the accreditation and they are you know aware of the changes. Okay, so that will be all for today. I hope this helps. If you have any questions at all in regards to the topic, then feel free to comment down below and I'll try to um, answer them. Okay, for visa assistance and consultation, you can email me at sheila at sdhvisa.com. You can also contact me through our Facebook um, a page as immigration consultants or through our phone um, landline 0392928880. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.